the entrance into heaven. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. So for the next three days, our response will psalm be taken from Psalm 47. And today our response will be, God is king of all the earth. Because we anticipate even today the celebration of the ascension. That our Lord has taken our humanity and divinized it by ascending into heaven. And so we rejoice that in the midst of whatever trials we are experiencing, the Lord has saved us by virtue of the resurrection and even also by, the, by virtue of the ascension. So as we celebrate God who is king of all the earth, let's, call, let's come to him with an acknowledgement of our sins as we celebrate now these sacred mysteries. You were sent to the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O Lord, so that what was promised by the sanctifying power of your word may everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel and that all your adopted children may attain what the testimony of truth has foretold. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Corinth, one night, the Lord said to Paul in a vision, do not be afraid, but speak, and do not be silent, for I am with you, and no one will lay a hand on you to harm you, for there are many in this city who are my people. He stayed there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews made a united attack on Paul, and brought him before the tribunal. They said, This man is persuading people to worship God in ways that are contrary to the law. Just as Paul was about to speak, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of crime or serious villainy, I would be justified in accepting the complaint of you, Jews. But since it is a matter of questions about words and names, and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of these matters. And he dismissed them from the tribunal. Then all of them seized Sosthenes, the official of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to any of these things. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed for Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. At Centria, he had his hair cut, for he was under a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. Clap your hands, all you peoples, Shout to God with loud songs of joy, for the Lord the Most High is awesome, a great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He has subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. God is King of all the earth. The 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to the disciples, Very truly I tell you, ye will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I'm feeling down or anxious, I, I, I really turn to uh, you know, the great scriptures, and especially Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. In that, the sacred writer writing to the Hebrews is writing to a community that's not undergoing uh, explicit persecution, but just being ground down by life to say, do I continue following? So the sacred writer is saying, we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. So put every encumbrance of sin down and we must keep our eyes on Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith. Now, one of these cloud of witnesses, not only do I find nourishment in the scripts, but the cloud of witnesses in terms of the saints. And so one of my favorite saints is St. John Paul II, who uh, was a Slav like me from Poland. I'm of Slovenian-Croatian descent, so you know I can identify with him very, very, uh, very much. And the, the magnificence of his pontificate, which began by reminding the, 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 the people at the beginning of, of his uh, his pontificate to keep our eyes on the Lord. For he says, do not be afraid. Open wide the doors to Christ. And like this sacred writer for the, uh, in this letter to the Hebrews, uh, John Paul II was noting, okay, the rise of communism from him coming from the Soviet bloc and the, the struggles of the oil embargoes and all. I mean, the great anxiety about faith. And John Paul II, do not be afraid. Open wide the doors to Christ. And I mentioned this phrase, do not be afraid, because this also comes in today's passage from Acts of the Apostles. And the, the magnificent work of the Holy Spirit in the life of Paul, in the life of the whole church, and how they responded in faith to the promptings of, of doing the Lord's will to spread the good news and to share it. But it's not without trials. And here Paul is in, as we've just heard, in Corinth, and the Lord comes to Paul in a vision. And just like John Paul II in 19, 1978 in October, the same phrase, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid is a, is a phrase used throughout the scriptures whenever God appears to people. And so likewise, to not be afraid to trust. And so the Lord is saying to Paul, do not be afraid, continue my work. That as Paul concludes his second of the three missionary journeys, is whatever is going to befall you in Corinth, do not be afraid. I am with you. Open wide the doors of your life to me. Do not be afraid. And for me, it's a great resonance in light of what's going on in the world by virtue, particularly of the pandemic, how afraid we are. We're afraid to leave our homes. We are afraid to go back to work. We are afraid to think about going back to church. We're thinking about, are we going to have any money left? We're greatly afraid. Rather than despairing of God's presence, we turn to him all the more. And I invite you to pray. Of course, for many of us, we have, uh, maybe our, our prayer is, is very much like an infant. Like, okay, we were taught the road to prayer. The Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory Be, for instance. And I think it's, it's important for us now to really open wide the doors of our lives to Christ. 
is to truly give of ourselves totally to him. Lord, I am afraid. And then that may be the greatest prayer that we can pray is to truly say, Lord, I give everything open to you. Guide me. You are the founder and perfecter of my faith. Help me keep my eyes on you. And I think when we offer our crises, our temptations, our struggles, our joys, because we're not afraid because we know that the Lord is the perfecter and founder of our faith, we can find joy, we can find peace because God is king of, the, of all the earth as we pray today in Psalm 47. So to truly pray, to really take, as, as uh, Matthew chapter 5, I believe, you know, to go to our rooms and pray to our Father who is in secret. And the Father, when we pray to our Father in secret, He will reward us. He will reward us with peace, with joy, with hope, with, um, with trust. And I think to truly pray. And so we should set out time every day like to pray the road prayers, yes, which ultimately should deepen us into this heart-to-heart conversation with the Lord, that we can truly heed the words of the Our Father. You know, may your kingdom come. May your will be done, that our hearts may be truly conformed because we've put our total trust in God. Do not be afraid. This was what the Lord said to Paul, and this is also what John Paul II said to the to the. To, to everybody in 1970 at the beginning of his pontificate. Do not be afraid. Open wide the doors to Christ. And we look to the early church and active apostles, and especially the life of Paul, that all the things that, that, that should have prevented him didn't because he opened wide his life to Christ. And so let us do it also in our own way to continue writing the acts of the apostles, that we add more stories because of what the Lord has done for us. And by not being afraid, opening wide the doors to our cri- of, of, of our lives to Christ, we may in turn allow others to totally trust in him in the same way that we have done. And that's part of the greatest news that we can, we can give, is to be a witness, of, 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 to be a saint and a witness to those who need to encounter the trust and love of God. As our Lord says in today's gospel, that if we ask for anything in the Lord's name to the Father, he will give it. So let's lift up our prayers and trust to our Heavenly Father in the name of our Savior that that he may truly answer the prayers that we bring to him now. For all the pastors of the church, especially Pope Francis and Bishop McGratton, that they will follow the example of the apostles, growing in faith despite any kind of trial, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who serve in public office, that they be inspired by the Holy Spirit to guide their people, especially in times of crisis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, that we may be given strength in temptation, endurance in trial, and thanksgiving in prosperity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially those suffering from the COVID-19 virus, that the joy of the risen Christ will touch their lives and bring them comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead, that they may be welcomed into eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring to you all these prayers, and we ask you to grant them in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. My brothers, my sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, us Savior, Savior of the, the world, world for, for by your cross, cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, room. but only Jesus say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The communion Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So thank you very much for tuning in to this uh, broadcast of the of the Mass. And so your participation uh, is very important, especially offering your prayers and intentions. So please visit stmichael.ca slash Mass to offer your intentions, which are, are really brought to this altar. And so please continue to pray for the needs of St. Michael's, especially for all those who are suffering in this pandemic, that they may find hope in the midst of their fears and uh, and courage and if you're able to contribute financially that's a wonderful way to ensure that that once we're open up if we're able to uh, to physically celebrate uh, the eucharist that, that everything is ready to go for that great moment the lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks, thanks be, be to, to god, god.